In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an XR rig using Unity 2020.3. So to get started, I've got Unity Hub version 3 here. I'm going to click on New Project. I'm going to select 3D Sample Scene URP. Give my project a name. So when your project has finished loading, you'll be greeted with this scene. Um, and there's just a couple of things we need to do first before we can put the rig in. So first I'm going to go to the window menu and then go to the package manager. Then I'm going to click on this little cog here and go to advanced project settings. Uh, I'm going to tick this box which will enable you preview packages because the XR rig from Unity is part of a preview package. So I click I understand. Um, next, I'm going to go to the player section and then under other settings, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find the active input handling option. Um, we're going to use Unity's new input system with the XR rig, so I'm going to change that here. Um, and then it's going to just tell me I need to restart, so I'll just do that. So when Unity has restarted, um, you'll probably be greeted with these errors um, which refer to this script called Simple Camera Controller. Uh, this script still uses the old input system uh, as we don't need it. It's nothing to do with the XR rig. We can just safely delete it. Now we can finally load in the packages that we need. So first of all, I'm going to go to the Unity registry. Scroll all the way down and install the XR click that. The other package we need is the XR Interaction Toolkit. So I'll click install on that. Once the Interaction Toolkit has been installed, you'll get access to this new option here called Samples. And we're going to import the default input actions, which will basically save us from having to set up the controls ourselves. So I'll click Import here. And then they're located in this folder here under samples. Close down the package manager, close down our project settings, and have a look at our scene. So in our scene, there's a couple of things uh, that we don't need, which we can get rid of. So I'm going to select the main camera and the post process volume and just hit delete. Then I'm going to go to the create menu, go to XR, XR rig, action based and you'll see the rig has now been placed in the scene. Um, it's a little bit high off the floor, so I'm going to just bring it down here. And that looks to be in a good position. So now my rig is in position, I'm ready to test it in VR. So I'll just make sure my XR settings are correct. I'll go to Edit, Project Settings, and at the bottom here we've got XR Plugin Management, so this will tell Unity which um, headset I want to use. So I'm going to use an Oculus headset. So I'm going to click Oculus. This will install a package in the background again. So once the package is installed, I'll close this down, press play in my editor. And if I move my VR headset, I can see that it's moving the camera as well. So in order to add teleportation, my rig, I'm going to need to add a few scripts. So with the XR rig selected, I'm going to add the locomotion provider system uh, and then the teleportation provider. And then I need one more script which will initialize the default input actions. So when I press a button on my controller, that will activate the teleportation. So on here, I'm going to select action input action manager and then under action assets I need to go to add if I click this little dot it'll look for the one in my project I've only got one so I'll click on that now that's all ready to go so the next thing I want to do is apply these default input actions onto my controllers so if I look in this folder here I can see I've got a number of default input actions so I'm going to grab my left hand controller in the inspector and then I can see I've got this XR controller script here. So with this selected, 
I'm going to drag this default left controller over here into the inspector and just drag it on top of the script like that. This will fit in the references. So I'll do the same for the right hand controller. Default right hand controller. There we go. So now on both of my controllers, I have a reference to the select action. So if I click on that here, um, I can see that on both my left and right hand, the select action is assigned to the grip on my controller. Okay, so on either controller, if I press the, the grip, that will select. The last thing I need to do is tell the system where I can teleport. So I'll select this ground mesh here. I'll go to add components, teleportation area. And now I should be able to teleport there. So let's try it out. So another feature you might want on your rig is the ability to have continuous locomotion and the ability to have snap turning. So in this example, I'm going to have continuous motion assigned to the left hand controller on the analog stick and on the right hand controller, I'm going to have the snap turning. So I'll do the snap turning first. So again, with the rig selected, I'm going to go to add component snap turn provider action based and then I have two references for the left hand and the right hand I only want to use the right hand so I'm going to click use reference click the little dot and if I type in turn I can filter out the right hand turn uh, default action which is already set up for me I'll click on that and that's all I need to do to set up my turning so then to add the continuous move system, uh, again with the XR rig selected, I'll go to add components, continuous move provider action based. Uh, then I need a couple of more components. So first I need a character controller. Then I need a character controller driver. Okay, and then like how we did the snap turning, I need a reference to the controller. So this time I'm going to put it on the left hand. And I know that the input action is called move. So I'll plug that in. And you can see I've got the one left hand move. So I'll put that in there. And then I should be good to go. So I'll just give it a quick test. I can move around, I can turn, and I can teleport. And my rig is complete.